Hi everybody, my name is Scott Walls. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. During that time, I've taught thousands of people just like you how to discover, use, deploy, and support Oracle's back office applications. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you the difference between the terms Fusion, Fusion Cloud Applications, and Oracle Cloud. Please note that this lesson is part of the Oracle Cloud Explore course. But before we get started, did you know that you could earn free badges for display on your LinkedIn profile? Stay until the end of this video and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's get started. Key topics for this presentation are as follows. 20 years of acquisition, Oracle's 2010 application portfolio, Fusion, Oracle Cloud, Oracle Cloud service lines, and Marketplace Confusion as of 2021. First topic, 20 years of acquisition. From the late 1990s through 2010, Oracle pursued a growth by acquisition strategy, of course, as well as developing or continuing to develop its own software products. Here are a listing of some of the major technology acquisitions. Second topic, Oracle's 2010 application portfolio. As of 2010, Oracle had built the following best of breed app portfolio, Siebel for CRM, PeopleSoft for HCM, a business suite for finance procurement and supply chain management, Primavera for project portfolio management, and Hyperion for reporting. Third topic, Fusion. Prior to 2012, Oracle, air quotes, fused its business applications into one super app and called it Fusion or Fusion Cloud Applications. Fourth topic, Oracle Cloud. In September of 2012, Oracle began changing the name of its Fusion or Fusion Cloud applications to Oracle Cloud, or more specifically, Oracle Cloud SaaS applications, one of its three service lines. Fifth topic, Oracle Cloud service lines. Today, Q3 2021, Oracle goes to market with three service lines. Software as a service is only one of those which you can see in the middle. Oracle Cloud is 20 plus years of hardware and software development and acquisitions all aligned into one of three different air quotes here, services. Those services are made accessible or delivered via the internet. Interesting fact, Oracle is the only supplier offering end-to-end -end business automation, hardware, software, development environments, and applications. Sixth and final topic, marketplace confusion. So as said earlier, Fusion Cloud applications have largely been transitioned to Oracle Cloud Software as a Service, but there are still some elements of either the documentation or even some of the application which refer to Fusion. You can see many of them on this slide. Going clockwise, you can see Oracle Cloud is now docs.oracle.com. And then off three o'clock, if we're going clockwise, you can see a page shot from earlier in 2020 that had Fusion applications listed. This has probably since been changed to Oracle Cloud. Then down at the seven or eight o'clock, staying with that clock analogy, you can see Fusion applications. This is in Demo Central and still as of Q3 2021, they're referred to as Fusion apps. Up above that, maybe nine, 10 o'clock in the clock, analogy, you can see Oracle Fusion application welcome email. So this is an outbound welcome email, probably for a new supplier. Uh, and you can see it comes from infusion dash no reply at Oracle ADS. And you can also see the thank you from Oracle Fusion application. So it's still in the process of completely transitioning out of the name Fusion. So there's a little bit of confusion. Okay, so you should now understand the terms Fusion, Fusion Cloud Applications, and Oracle Cloud. If you don't, watch it again, it's free. If you do, congratulations, you're ready for the next lesson in this course. So that's the end of this lesson, but it doesn't have to be the end of your learning journey. There are thousands of free videos just like this one. Remember, better content, better skills, better income, better life. We want to help you get 1% better every day. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Okay. As promised, here are the five steps you can perform today to start earning free badges for your LinkedIn profile. Step one, navigate to panamir.com 
and either sign in or join now. It's free. Step two in the upper left, under the Discover menu, select the course that you want to watch and get badged for. Step three, watch all of the different video lessons in that course. Step four, when it's complete, send your LinkedIn profile and the course you watched and your user ID to badges at panamere.com. And then sit back and wait for step five when we attach a badge to your LinkedIn profile.